look at how to do a quick setup and installation of the ASTI Premium. These instructions also apply to the Extreme. So what's in the box? We have the instructions. The chicken guard. Screws for mounting the chicken guard to the coop. And four AA alkaline batteries. Now when we open up the chicken guard, there's a face plate, which you can take and disconnect. You'll find the silicone seal with four faceplate screws that are used to mount the faceplate to the control box, as well as a battery compartment which holds the four AA alkaline batteries. Let's start by putting the seal on the faceplate. As you can tell, there's a groove that runs along the outside of the faceplate, and we're going to go ahead and start by setting that silicone seal starting at the lower corner and following the path. You will have some excess, which is free to go ahead and cut off. So now that the seal has gone into the grooves, it's time to mount the chicken guard to your coop. We have the batteries all inserted into the compartment. Let's go out to the coop. So you're going to want to attach the chicken guard to your coop by going into these four holes here with the screws provided. These other holes are used for mounting the faceplate onto the opener itself. We're going to go ahead and connect the batteries onto the faceplate, which shows the chicken guard now has power to it. And then we're going to connect the faceplate to the opener with this two prong, making sure that the black wire is facing up. Place the battery compartment into the slot there, prepared for it. And then we're going to go ahead and secure it with the screwdriver. It's best not to use power tools with this as it is plastic and it could split the plastic. So the first thing we're going to do in programming the unit is setting the time. We're going to go ahead and press the menu to enter the programming mode. And then press the up or down to scroll through the menu until we find set the time. Go ahead and press the menu to enter the time mode. And you'll see that the time is on a 24 hour clock. So we're gonna go ahead and set the time as 9 a.m. Press menu, takes you to the minutes. Press menu again, and the time has been saved as 9 a.m. Now we're gonna go ahead and set the door calibration. At this point, you would have already attached your string to your door. Go ahead and press the menu to go into the programming mode. Cycle through to door calibration. Now first we're going to press up until the door is in the open position, holding the button down firmly. Once the door is in the open position you like, you go ahead and release the button. And now we're going to hold close until the door is fully shut, making sure to keep the button pressed firmly the entire time. Until the door is fully shut, release the button. And now the door will fully open.
to show you the calibration is complete. Okay, now that we've calibrated the door, we're going to go ahead and program our open and close settings. Go ahead and press menu to enter the program mode. It's already on the open settings. Go ahead and press menu again. You can set your open settings to manual, sensor for the light sensor, or timer. We're going to go ahead and set it for timer. We're going to set it for opening at 7 a.m. So we'll go ahead and hit menu, menu again, and now the door is scheduled to open at 7 a.m. every morning. Next, we'll go back into the menu again. Go into close settings, press menu. We're going to go ahead and pick timer again for the close. And now it's scheduled to close at 8 p.m. We'll go ahead and close it at 9 p.m. Menu to enter. Menu again. And now our close settings have been saved.